I just returned from an interfaith panel discussion at Valley Beth Shalom in Encino, where Rabbi Ed Feinstein moderated a panel discussion, an interfaith panel discussion, on the question, can we pray together? The question, can we pray together, uh, really um, begs the answer, yes, of course we can pray together. The question really is, do we pray together? When do we pray together? How do we pray together? Under what circumstances do we pray together? And how can we create more spaces where people of differing faiths and different communities can come together to pray? Everyone in any particular faith community has a way of opening himself or herself to the divine. So prayer is extremely meaningful for those who engage in it because it, it helps us have clarity of purpose in life. It helps us put things in greater perspective. Prayer doesn't help God at all. God doesn't need our prayer, but it definitely helps us. So prayer matters for the individuals engaging in it. Uh, but when we do it together, when we pray together, either within our faith communities or across faith communities, something magical happens. It transforms the bond that we share as human beings. Uh, it, it strengthens it. What do we have in common? Really in common. I open it up to Genesis chapter 1. And I find, and God created the human being, Adam, in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. This is what moves me. And I can walk into any synagogue, any church, or any mosque, if I hear that sentiment expressed, that makes me feel at home. From a Christian point of view, what's distinctive about Christian prayer is that it's often made in the name of Jesus, for asking Jesus, whom we believe is the second person of the Trinity, to intercede with his Father for us. And he, Jesus tells us in one, uh, the Gospels, ask anything in my name, and it will be given to you. Now that doesn't mean that exactly what you're asking for you're going to receive. Often, um, I believe that all prayer is answered, but often answered in ways different than you're expecting it. Prayer also, though, um, requires us to listen and to um, say our piece, but to then be quiet and in the stillness try to discern what God is saying to us. It was a wonderful gathering, and I look forward to more of these kinds of, not only discussions, but opportunities to pray together in the future. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful, all praise is due to God, Lord of the worlds, the most compassionate, the most merciful, master of the day of judgment. It is you alone that we worship, and your help alone that we seek. Guide us along the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed your blessings, not the path of those upon whom is anchored, nor the path of those who have gone astray. Amen.